today we're going to barrel age a cocktail, the Barrel Age Manhattan. For this recipe, you're going to need a measuring cup, a graduated double jigger, a funnel, a fine mesh strainer, a bottle, a pitcher, and most importantly, a small oak barrel. The ingredients are rye, sweet vermouth, aromatic bitters, and maraschino cherries for garnish. If you don't want to make your own cherries, make sure to use real, quality maraschino cherries. Not all cocktails lend themselves to being barrel aged, but a Manhattan certainly does. Barrel aging changes the accent of the drink without changing the underlying character. It has a way of sanding down, rounding off, and polishing the edges that would otherwise be rough and sharp on the palate. A Manhattan is one of those perfect, classic, enduring cocktails that could hardly use improvement. But barrel aging, it enhances everything that's great about it. As with a lot of classic drinks, the origin of the Manhattan isn't very clear. It seems to have originated from, you guessed it, Manhattan around the 1880s, and several people and places laid claim to its creation. About the only thing that is certain is that it helped pave the way for the more popular dry martini. And both drinks helped popularize the use of vermouth as a cocktail ingredient. I'm certainly an advocate for the use of rye in a Manhattan. Just as Irish whiskey makes a patty, and Scotch whiskey makes a Rob Roy, a Manhattan should be made with rye. If you absolutely need to make it with bourbon, take a tip from David Wondrich and make sure it's at least 100 proof. The 100 proof or higher rule applies to rye too. A lower proof rye does not do the drink justice. The barrel aged version of a Manhattan is not a replacement for a fresh Manhattan. It's best to think of it as a different entity altogether. The barrel aged Manhattan is slightly mellower. It pulls vanilla, caramel, and almost a maple syrup-like character out of the wood. That's not to say it's sweeter. It has the same amount of sweetness, just with some added character. Building a cocktail for barrel aging is about being able to scale it. Since the liquid causes the wood to expand, which creates the seal in the barrel, you need to keep it full. This recipe is for a one liter barrel. You'll have to scale the recipe for a two liter or three liter or an even bigger barrel. And if you have a bigger barrel, you'll most likely need to age it a little longer as well. Assuming this is a new barrel, before we get started, we'll have to cure the barrel. Do this by filling it with warm water and dumping it out again. It may leak from the head or the butt. In that case, you'll need to cure it again. The idea is to get the water to expand the wood until it creates a perfect seal. Once it's cured, it's time to add the booze. Measure 653 milliliters, or a little over 22 ounces of rye. Pour that in your pitcher. Measure 327 milliliters, or a little over 11 ounces of sweet vermouth. Add that to your pitcher. Measure 20 milliliters, or a little under a three quarter ounce of bitters. Add that to your pitcher. Give that a quick stir, and give it a quick taste, just to make sure you're putting a cocktail you want to drink into the barrel. Pop in your funnel, and pour it in your barrel. Pull out the funnel, plug in the bung, and wait. In this case, for the one liter barrel, three to four weeks is the sweet spot. You don't want to leave it in too long unless you like a really oak flavored Manhattan. It's always a good idea to taste a little along the way, every week or so. That way you can see how it's progressing. It may take a little more or a little less time depending on the barrel and how many times you've used it. In this case, 30 days is a good benchmark, but let your taste buds be the judge. When the cocktail gets to the right place, unplug the bung, turn your spigot and drain the barrel. It's normal to lose a little in the process. Stick in a funnel and pour it in your bottle using a fine mesh strainer. That'll help pick up any bits of charred oak that might have come through. Then slap on a homemade label and you're good to go. When you're ready to drink it, measure out a couple ounces, add it to a mixing glass, add ice, and stir to chill it down and give it some dilution. Strain it into a chilled goop glass, spear a couple maraschino cherries on a fancy toothpick, and place it on the drink for garnish. And there it is, a little more rounded, a little more polished, a little more refined, the Barrel Age Manhattan. Cheers. Click here for more videos, be sure to subscribe, and check us out on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.